What is going on everybody and welcome to a brand new squad building challenge guide on the channel today We've got a couple SBCs most notably the Steven Bergewijn SBC at Spurs right wing with 95 pace This card looks quite insane if you don't already have a Premier League right wing I would definitely do this card because he's got four star skill moves five star weak foot 95 pace 92 dribbling 86 shooting 86 passing and on top of that He's got 80 physicality, weirdly low aggression, weirdly high strength, and he's got good enough stamina to last you the entire match with 96 balance, maybe slap a little bit of a chem style to up the agility, but overall, this card looks very, very good even this far into the game, and I think you might be able to even use this throughout team of the season for about 340,000 coins, and that's before the couple of packs that you get in return for Burge Wine as well. So let's hop right into the cheapest solution. If this helps you out, guys, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I did upload a video with Cap Gun Tom earlier today, so if you want to check that out, the link will be at the end of the video, or you can just search through the channel. It's uh, the second most recent video now. So with this squad building challenge cheapest solution, we're going to need a Spurs player, and we're going to need a team of the week player with 85 overall rating. And this is going to cost you about 100,000 coins for this window. 75 chemistry here are the players that you're going to need so starting it off with Rui Patricio in goalkeeper and then at left back we're going with Onana he's the cheapest 85 in the game but everything has slowly been rising throughout foot birthday because all the fodder has been needed for all these new SBCs and EA are finally dropping some SBCs worth doing especially with this Steven Bergwijn SBC Next up, we're going to go with David Luiz, and then we're going to go ahead and get that Spurs player out of the way, which is Davinson Sanchez. Definitely not going to be a cheap 83, especially with the Spurs requirement going on right now, but we need him for the SBC. So you're going to have to dish out a couple extra K for Davinson Sanchez, but it'll be all right because at least we're not spending a ton on some of the higher rated Spurs players that have skyrocketed today. Next up, we're going to go with Carlos Vela, and the only reason we're going with him is because, one, he's high rated and he's cheap, and he's a Team of the Week player, obviously, there. So, 86-rated Team of the Week. Get him out of the way for that requirement. Next up, we're going to go with Felipe Anderson at left mid. Surprisingly cheap, only about 6,000 coins right now, which is cheaper than he normally is. And then next up, we've got Fabinho at center mid. Next up, we're going to go with Ndidi at defensive mid. He's super cheap, one of the cheapest 84s in the game. And that's because a lot of the time when they get those winter upgrades and they go from 81 to 84, or like Onana with 82 to 85, or like Vardy, 82 to 85, they become the cheapest of their next rating because it's so hard to find them on the market and so they kind of get a little bit cheaper uh, naturally because it's harder to find their upgraded card. So Onana, Ndidi, and Vardy, all pretty cheap for their rating. Next up in the midfield, though, we're going to go with Zhao Matinho, and we're going to link him with Bernardo Silva at right mid. We do need that strong link, uh, but it's not too important, but we do need to get 75 chemistry because I don't want to go out and get loyalty. I don't want to go out and get position changers, and I know you don't either. So getting that strong link through Portugal gets Bernardo Silva on full chemistry, which which is needed to get us over 75 rating without having to buy some position change cards. So that's important, guys. Next squad is going to be more expensive. This one, 240,000 coins. It's an 87 rated team. You need one Premier League player. In the good side about it is a decent pack in return. 35k packs, not the worst. Prime mixed players pack, kind of crappy. 35k pack, not terrible, but you are spending 240,000 coins right now on this 87 rated squad SBC. So, with that being said, here are the players we're going to use. Obviously, we need to go with some higher rateds, but to make it cheaper, you go with a couple of those high rateds, and then you go with as many 83s and 84s in the team as you possibly can, and that's what I did. So, we went with Buffon at goalkeeper, and then we're going to go with another cheap player with Ilicic at left back. Obviously, not there for the chemistry, but he does get the links to other players who get chemistry. So, we're going to go Koulibaly at center back alongside Chiellini. Two of the cheaper 89s in the game, and obviously we need them to get those high rating. Not the last 89 we're going to use in this squad, and unfortunately not the last high rated we're going to use in this squad either. We're going Erickson at right back simply because of the fact that he's the cheapest 88 in the game right now. Next up, we're going to go with Edin Dzeko at left mid, super cheap. Lucas Leiva at CDM, super cheap. And then we're going to go with Ramsey at center mid, super cheap. Obviously, these three players right here, Koulibaly, Chiellini, Erickson, not super cheap. The rest of the squad, though, so far, 
pretty cheap. Next up, we're gonna go with that Aguero 89, and then we're gonna slap an 87 for the first time in the squad with Mertens, and then finish it off with an 84 Martinez. Insane concept with the Martinez. Super cheap 84 because of the fact that he got that winter upgrade, and it's hard to differentiate between his lower rated card and the 84. When you're searching on the market, it's actually impossible unless you adjust the price ranges perfectly, and even then you're gonna have some of the others pop up as well. So that is going to complete the squad building challenge for our Steven Bergwijn card, and that is a pretty decent price, honestly, because thinking about what this card might be on the market right now, probably well over 500,000 coins. So the fact that you're getting it for 340 and you're getting a pack in return, I'd say that's pretty decent. I think this Birch Wine card is a decent deal. The only problem with me getting this card is the fact that I've already got Bernardo Silva at right mid right now, and I don't necessarily need a right wing from Premier League. Now, I do like the Dutch aspect. Maybe go ahead and link that with possibly whatever gets the right back Dutch uh, Eredivisie right back, or maybe get some sort of link through Van Dijk in the future, but... I don't think he's going to replace my Bernardo Silva because my Bernardo Silva, even though he doesn't have the nearly the physicality that Bergwijn does, he's got great dribbling, and I really, really like that 96 dribbling from Bernardo Silva. It seems so fluid in-game with the 98 agility and 96 balance, and that's really where I think Ber Bernardo Silva beats Bergwijn, but if you don't have that Bernardo Silva, definitely go out and do the Bergwijn SBC. For foot 13, it's a weird requirement, but we got it done here with the eight rare players. It's max four from uh, cl for clubs, so you need to have certain players from the same club, but you can also not have more than three from the same club. Uh, so it made it a little bit difficult, but I just went full La Liga, getting some Real Batiste, some Athletic Bilbao, Sevilla players, and then through the Valencia at left back and was able to do it without even linking to the Nigerian striker from Lokomotiv or uh, Spartak Moscow, excuse me, up top. So we've got that, which is an 84 to 91 rated player. And the last SBC that I did, which was 84 plus, I actually got a 92 rated player, which was Neymar, and he's actually in the squad uh, that you just saw. He's playing striker now, and honestly, not too impressed with Neymar at this point in the game. I think it's a little bit outdated to use uh, the regular Neymar. I would want an upgrade at this point, but hey, if it's free out of one of these daily SBCs, I'm going to take that every single time. So let me go ahead and submit the last ones of these. We got another Spartak Moscow SBC, this time actually using the players from the Russian League. Uh, I just do normally whatever's the easiest based on the players that are in my club for these. So not necessarily the cheapest solution for the uh, SBCs here. It looks like I must have used a different left back at, uh, at there. So if we throw a Laza in there, it doesn't quite get it. Um, unfortunately, we're going to need a different left back here uh, to finish it off. Does Clichy do the trick? He doesn't. We're going to have to buy maybe uh, Gaia to, to finish this off. Let's see if that helps us out. Jose Gaia, can you get the chemistry for us? Oh, he's expensive right now, but I am crunched on time, so I don't keep you guys waiting watching the video. So there we go. Go ahead and submit Gaia into the uh, solution there. Definitely not the cheapest solution for Gaia. And then the last one is Munch and Gladbach versus Schalke. Hopefully, don't have a similar issue. And we do. We used the right wing card, and uh, it must have been the Schalke slash Munch and Gladbach player. There we are. We got the uh, Schalke player up there. We had the chemistry. I just needed to get those five nation requirements finished. And now we can finally open up all the packs, throw back marquee matchups, including the 84 to 91. Uh, pack that we got out of the Foot 13 SBC. Let's start it out with the crappier packs, although I packed Hugo Lloris, the last one of these packs I opened with the, the gold players, which is just one rare. I got Hugo Lloris in the last one. Can't do it two times in a row, unfortunately, but can't push our pack luck too far. Hopefully we get something better in the better packs that we've got for today, uh, but definitely some cards that we can use in future squad building challenges. Next up, we've got the premium gold players pack, which is going to be a 25k pack for us three rare gold cards normally in these packs hopefully something decent and unfortunately not another non board drop pack luck not looking too good so far well we still got a couple of packs to go i mean we are guaranteed to get at least one board drop out of these because of that 84 uh to 91 pack that we have so premium electrum and then we'll do the prime electrum next on this one i'm gonna do a skip pack i might regret it if it's something good but 
it is one of the crappier packs out of them. So if I get something good, that would be a hell of a surprise. And it's only Lingard, so I'm glad I skipped it and send that to the club. We'll go ahead and send that up, send that up, just in case they sell as silver cards. Next up, we've got the Prime Electrum, which is six gold, six silver, six rare. So on average, again, you're going to get three rare gold cards. So I think it's worth letting this one ride out. But to be honest, when I did my foot birthday pack opening on Twitch, if you guys don't follow me down there, do so. But when I did it, I had 50 packs, and I had two of those being uh, 50k packs, and neither of them gave me a board drop. So with that being said, it's not a guarantee that we even get a board drop in any of these other than the 84 plus. The rare Electrum is good. It is six rare gold cards and six rare silvers. Please give us a board drop, EA. It's all I'm asking of you. It is a board drop. Be a walkout now. All right. All right. I did just ask for a board drop. We can't be too disappointed. It's a center back. It is going to be Felipe. And that's not terrible. He goes for like at least 7,000 coins right now. Not a cheap 84. So if we're going to get any 84, not a bad 84 to get. Marcus Alonso in there as well. And then we got this guy from Hamburg, Uerton. Um, we'll go ahead and send into the club. Anyways, we've got the good pack to finish it off. I'm really just hoping it's not an 84 rated card. Give me something that's at least a walkout. At least a walkout. Be at least a walkout. It's not a walkout. 85 at least? What is this? It's gonna be... Coke 85? I guess it could have been worse. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure to slap a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And check out some of the other uploads I've uploaded this week. You won't be disappointed. I'll see you next time. Peace out.